Good afternoon. I'm Maricel Halili. This is One News Now. President Duterte certifies as urgent two bills relating to COVID-19 resiliency and anti-money laundering. The chief executive said he wants the speedy passage of the financial institution's strategic transfer bill. It aims to allow banks and other financial institutions to offload bad loans to curb the economic impact of the pandemic. The president also sought the immediate approval of a measure that seeks to amend the anti-money laundering law. It would establish the compliance of the country with international standards for anti-money laundering and counterterrorism. The move came after the House of Representatives passed the 2021 budget in a special session called by Duterte. The MRT-3 will increase its passenger capacity to 30% starting Monday, October 19. That means 372 passengers will be allowed per train set from the current 153 allowed headcount or 13%. The rail line also said commuters may expect more trains to be deployed, leading to shorter waiting time and faster travel time. But despite this, they advised the public anew to strictly follow health and safety protocols while inside the trains. The Economic Development Council submitted the recommendation, which President Duterte recently approved. The NLEX Corporation starts implementing RFID-only payment scheme at three exit points along the expressway. The company explained that the move comes in preparation for the full automation starting November 2. Some motorists, however, said it caused confusion and inconvenience because they were uninformed. The management clarified that those without RFIDs will still be allowed to pass through, but they will need to secure one in the future. It's okay if you don't have an RFID now, as of right now, mm -hmm. then it's okay. You can go through the normal cash process. But we're reminding them that sa susunod, it's better to have an RFID. Otherwise, mahirapan na sila. Our favorite basketball league has returned. Catch the PBA Bubble Games live on TV5 every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And on One Sports and PBA Rush daily. Games are also seen live via Facebook and YouTube live stream, Radio Cinco, and Signal Play. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Maricel Halili. We are One News.